Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House. Today we're taking a look at how to maximize on grow light efficiency between a diamond mylar grow space and a polyethylene or PE grow space. Here we have two demonstration of tents, 1.2 by 1.2 meter for both of them. The key difference is we have the Eclipse Elite, which is featuring the Diamond Mylar, and over here we have the Eclipse Polar Series using the polyethylene or PE style grow space. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be doing a measurement with our PAR meter, our Apogee, to see what's gonna offer more reflection qualities for a light. Basically, we're gonna give you a PAR map at the end to show you what's been more efficient in each grow space and what you'd expect to see between the two, obviously. Now, Key features between these two tents is the Diamond Mylar is designed to diffuse light and help reflect it around the grow space. Well over here we have a very flat or sorry reflective surface that is flat in texture and the idea being that it is going to offer high reflective qualities without their diffusion. So for this particular test today within these 1.2 by 1.2 grow tents we're going to be testing the Helios 480X by Four Seasons. We've got two of these and one in each tent obviously and the idea is that these are going to consume 480 watts peak input power and their coverage is really suitable for a tent this size. So we've found it a really good benchmark to be doing a comparison test. We've done our best to set these up up at 45 centimeters and be a really fair comparison but what will ultimately show that is the efficiency and overall PPFD chart we're going to get at the end of this. Okay so we've got both of our Helios 480X's here we've set them at 45 centimeters from the base and we've cranked them up to full power now so we're doing our first test in the polar tent here now for our instrument of choice we've gone with the Apogee far pass sensor I don't know if you can see that with the micro cache now that's just going to be transmitting the data to our phone so we can data plot from there Let's get into it. Okay, so to conclude the PAR maps we've just done in the Elite and the Polar here, what we saw was a 755 PAR average in the Elite tent and a 855 average in the polyethylene polar tent. So obviously we did our best to keep these lights equally positioned, minimize sway, and make it the fairest test we could possible. So we're pretty happy with those results at how well the polar performs for making your grow light that extra bit efficient because you can always take manufacturer's data for what your PAR maps are gonna be and think they apply the same to your grow space when in reality they don't. Every situation's a little different. So we're really stoked here to see that the polar was able to offer more efficiency for the wattage of light you're putting in there. Really great results. So thank you for watching. If there's anything else, please get in touch with us here at Herbal House.